All right, let's talk about what I just created. I've got a 300 watt, 12 volt power supply here. And I just cut a regular 120 volt cable that I've got plugged into the power strip there. So we get voltage, well we get power from the wall coming into this power supply. And that feeds into these, which are 12 volt, 150 watt each heater units. So we got 250 watts uh, together, that makes 300 watts total. They've got their own fans, so they suck air in this side and they blow hot air out the back side here. And it's very hot, like it's definitely heater worthy. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, hopefully this is the heater for our boat. And I think this is going to be okay based on... Two that room, the bedroom, is pretty cold. It's basically unheated in there, and it's perfect for this test. It's not really that great for sleeping sometimes because it gets cold. So the, that's the first thing, is it's the same volume and it's unheated. Uh, the second thing is that it has its own heater in there, and that heater is 400 watts. It doesn't have a fan, it's just a baseboard style heater, so it takes in cold air from the bottom and heats it and the hot air comes out the top and recirculates through the room. So 400 watts can heat up that room in about a half hour to a comfortable temperature. And this is 300 watts and it has its own fans to circulate the air. So I think this will actually do a better job than that. So the question is, okay, how am I gonna monitor this, right? Because, you know, we could just start heating it in there and say, oh, it feels hot in here, but you know, what temperature did it start at? Where did we get to? Was it actually a comfortable temperature? All those things. So to kind of gauge this, I bought a GoV temperature humidity monitor and they have a nice little app here. Let's see if I can get this focused for you guys. There we go. So they have this nice little app here and you can see this is my actual real time measurement. And if you tap on that guy, you can get a graph of what's going on in there. And here you can see this peak in the temperature. That's where, nope, just did data syncing. So that, that peak is where I turned on the device and it was out here in the living room and it was about 70 degrees out here. And then you can see it dropped off as it came to the same temperature that it was actually measuring in the bedroom, right? And that temperature it's saying is about 68, I guess, 68 and a half. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, we got the power supply, we got the heater. It's sitting up high on this kind of shelf. Um, I'm doing that so that it simulates what it'll be kind of in the boat where it sucks in air from a pie and then it'll blow the hot air out and it'll kind of cool and sink down and that should hopefully create a circulation and that over there on the wall is the other the 400 watt heater that's off and oh let me close up this closet door too because this is volume that we wouldn't have in the boat so uh, oh, and the temperature monitor is that little white guy right there on my nightstand. So, kind of in an average place, not, not being pointed at by the heater. So, I'm going to plug this in and we'll start the test. Okay. Oh, I have to switch it on. <laughs> on. 
So light on the power supply is on. Our fans are running, you can't see them, but the hot air is coming. All right, I'm gonna close up this door and yeah. Well, I've been checking this every 10 minutes and I'm at the 20 minute mark right now and had a little failure. The heat from this actually expanded my PVC pipe. I didn't think about that. It expands when it gets hot and it expands a lot. So there's about a quarter inch gap in there now from the heat. So that's something I'll have to work into the design. But we're 20 minutes in and I'm gonna focus on this. We're at 68.7 degrees. So we've come up, what, 0.3 degrees? Oh, there's another one, 0.4 degrees in 20 minutes. So that's not bad. I am going to tape this back together and we'll keep going. Uh, we got about one degree of temperature raise per hour. Uh, it did make it to 70 degrees and that's excellent. Um, this is just with two units working. So I'm happy with two. I think it would definitely heat the boat pretty well, but uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna use four of them. Um, the one issue we had is it smells like plastic really bad <laughs> and uh, that's because this plastic housing that goes around the heater so inside the heater it's just a metal core let me get a nice close-up of this for you guys right so it's just this metal heat exchanger and in between the ribs are some ceramic resistors and the wires attached to those resistors and they heat it up and the aluminum fins take the heat to the air going between and that's it right so you refocused here yeah so this comes out really nicely and what I'm gonna do is just make an aluminum housing to capture four of these and hold a one larger fan on the back instead of having four of these little small fans. I'll just have one big fan. So, um, I would say that this is going to work out really well. And um, 150 watts each, we'll need a, a thermostat. So, yeah, we'll have 600 watts of heating and probably it runs for, I don't know, an hour a day maybe. Yeah, so it's not too bad. And of course, when we get to the tropics, it won't be running at all. We'll be wishing we had air conditioning. Um, but uh, here in the winter time, um, like right now, it, it's, it's useful. So hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if, again, if you like what we're doing, you want others to be able to find us, uh, subscribe and like the video and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this or if you've tried something similar and had issues or have better suggestions, uh, I'd love to hear them. So, see you next time.